Click here to watch last week's episode on Dota 2 Portal TV. Witch Doctor! It's a cookbook! A cookbook! Malpractice makes perfect. In Dota 1, if you have Voodoo Restoration active when you get doomed, it gets deactivated. Therefore, it will not heal HP or drain mana while you're doomed. In Dota 2, Voodoo Restoration will actually remain active during doom, effectively combating the damage done by Doom. The damage from Paralyzing Cask is deceiving in Dota 1. The damage does not happen when it connects with a target, but rather at some point on its way to the target. This slightly hinders heroes with a Blink Dagger, who are trying to use it to escape before the cask connects. In Dota 2, the damage happens when the stun happens, which is when the cask hits a target. Here's where it gets confusing. Since cask timing is buggy, it adds even more issues when successfully blinking. If Wish Doctor uses cask right next to you, the cask will bounce from where you blinked from. If Wish Doctor uses cask from far away, the cask will follow you to where you blink to, then bounce. In Dota 2, when you blink, you dodge the cask entirely. The timing does not matter, it will not bounce. The same is true for invisibility. The cask will still bounce to a nearby target in Dota 1. In Dota 2, it won't. In Dota 1, if Skeleton King dies with Maledict on him, the buff will still remain on him when he comes back to life with Reincarnation. While in Dota 2, Maledict's buff gets removed when Reincarnation is used. In Dota 1, if Witch Doctor cancels his Death Ward, the traveling missiles from it will still find their targets and deal damage. However, in Dota 2, if you cancel Death Ward, the traveling missiles do not deal damage. There's also a weird bug where one of the projectiles will come from the center of the map after canceling Death Ward. There's a minor visual error in Dota 1 regarding paralyzing cask. It will not show the cask bouncing to a BKB unit. It only shows it bouncing from it. The visual is correct in Dota 2. It shows the cask bouncing to and from a BKB unit. In Dota 1, you can use Soul Ring's temporary mana as the source for Voodoo Restoration's activation toggle, and for the mana per second cost to keep it active. In Dota 2, you can activate Voodoo Restoration with Soul Ring's temporary mana, but the mana per second drain from having it active is taken from your permanent mana pool, not from the extra mana that Soul Ring temporarily gives you. You can actually stun familiars with Paralyzing Cask in Dota 1, which will prevent them from going into stone form. You cannot stun familiars in Dota 2, though the cast will still bounce to and from them. In Dota 1, with Ags, you can bounce one Death Ward missile between the same two heroes. The explanation is the same as Luna bouncing glaives between the same two heroes, so check out her video for more details on the mechanics behind it. In Dota 2, this is now fixed, and heroes cannot be hit by the same Death Ward bounce more than once. <laughs> 